Hey, what's up? My name is Terumi. I've been teaching Japanese for six years. So today, I'd like to talk about this Genki book. 99% of Japanese learners, when they decided to, okay, learn Japanese today, and as they pick up the textbook, and one of the most common textbooks, this is a Genki, means like fine, I'm fine, like I'm good. So, is this Genki book good or not? I'm gonna talk about. So, I've been teaching Japanese for six years and I was using this textbook for three years, every single day, every single day. And then, three years ago, I stopped using. I had several reasons. And also, now if you're, you know, thinking what actually the textbook is the best for you or not, I think it's gonna be a great video for you to decide this textbook or the other, okay? So, first of all, this Genki book started from the letters, of course. I mean, the most of language learners start from the letters. Vocabulary, grammar. How to make the sentence, which is they try to start making the sentences with the vocabulary knowledge to grammar knowledge. And then they try to make the sentence and after that longer sentence, composition, listening, and take the proficiency, which is this one pattern. Really, really common, right? But if you actually want to speak Japanese like a native, like a fluent, fluently, right? Like my English, it's not perfect. I am Japanese. I'm native Japanese. I just started learning English seriously was six years ago. My pronunciation is really bad. And uh, I, I was making the grammar mistake all the time. I mean, right now also it's not perfect, but it's okay. You can listen to my conversation, right? So that's why, you know, this pronunciation, how to speak, what is a native phrases, what is actually, actually to make the natural conversation like a 10 minutes only English, only Japanese. You know, if you want to speak Japanese, only Japanese, 10 minutes conversation, one hour conversation, two hours conversation. So pronunciation or native phrases is very difficult to learn from here. So my first suggestion, if you really want to speak Japanese like a native, you should never use this textbook. Then what is good? Here you can learn Japanese grammar or letters, which is if somebody wants to take the proficiency, it's gonna be great textbook. But it's taking proficiency or being a bilingual, like fluent speaker is totally different. You know, a lot of English speaker, they start learning Spanish or French or German, but it's Take the proficiency or being bilingual, which is a fluent speaker, is totally different. Because fluency is, you know, coming from your pronunciation, native phrases, natural conversation flow. You know, you introduce yourself, you can ask nicely, you can respond nicely, and that's all the conversation flow is something really like a native, which is natural. But learning grammar itself, you know, this is a pen. This was a pen. You know, it's written everything about Japanese grammar. It's amazing book, but doesn't bring you to become fluent because it's all the narrative is not really native phrases and you cannot understand the conversation flow. For example, let's see from the first page. It's a written letters, alphabet, that's also good. But the problem is this dialogue. Like, you know, do you like tennis? Yes, I do. But when you actually meet a Japanese person, no one talking like that way. It's very unnatural. So all the conversation here is very unnatural. No Japanese people speak like that dialogue, like shopping or meeting people or something. The title sounds really nice, but it's the conversation, which is like a dialogue, is really, really weird Japanese. So Mary-san, hey Mary, on weekend, usually, what do you do? It sounds nice, but also it's not really natural. No Japanese people speak like that way. But you know what? You can learn grammar, you can learn vocabulary, but most commonly, what kind of problem you have with this textbook 
when you wanna really speak Japanese like naturally, like a native, ah, my pronunciation is bad. Ah, oh, my speaking way is something like weird because I try to speak with my grammar knowledge, vocabulary knowledge, and I don't know how to actually speak naturally. That's most of people have this problem. So that's why if actually you just want to pass the proficiency, you don't care how to speak naturally, then this textbook is the best. But if you really want to speak naturally, we have this specific program. So our school is called Japan Language Factory. We do this communication coaching in Japanese and English. So if you want to meet native Japanese, you want to speak naturally, join my program, this communication coaching program, two months master course. So if you want to change your life with a Japanese speaking skill, seriously, join our master course, two months. So you can be ready to communicate with Japanese people after two months. So for example, you can maybe make Japanese friends, you can enter the Japanese company, you can try more conversation with Japanese people every day. So that's why your speaking skill grow up every day. So these two months, we're gonna make a perfect the foundation of your Japanese speaking skill. Then you can start speaking with Japanese people, real life or social media on Instagram or Facebook or anywhere that you can actually have the chance to speak. So if you really want to change your life, seriously use Japanese communication skill, speech skill, presentation skill for the business, for the private. Let's join the master course.